While traveling, you must have taken a bunch of photos with your phone, but won't open them up again for a long time. Well, today we'll show you how to use the Vidpro Vlogger to turn those beautiful pictures in your phone into a live slideshow video. Without further ado, let's dig in. It is not hard to make a slideshow video like this. First, we need to place the photos in the background like this to create a picture. Next, we use motion to make this shot move on the screen. This completes the production of the video. But here we need to pay attention to the video size. If we want to create a 1080p video, then the size of the camera shot should be 1080p. And to ensure that the finished project is not too blurred, we need to set the first picture to 4K when making it. Now, let's open Video Vlogger. Find video resolution. Click on the triangle to open the menu. Select 4K. Then click on New Project. Next, let's prepare a background picture. It can be a wood grain like this. Import it into Video Vlogger. Then drag it into Video Track to resize it so it fits to the screen. Then use Ripple Edit to adjust the duration. Next, let's import some photos. After loading it into Video Vlogger, the system will automatically group them in landscape and portrait. First, let's drag a random photo into the overlay track. Use Ripple Edit to make it last for the same amount of time as the clip in the video track. Then, adjust the size and position in the preview window. When you're done, click on the plus icon here to create a new overlay track. Move on to the next photo. You can overlay them together like this to continue with the photo layout. Finally, let's click on Effect. Find a border and drag it into Effect Track to make it cover the entire timeline. Then find the scope at the bottom. Uncheck Apply to Canvas and check all the clips except for those in Video Track. You can also adjust the color and size of the stroke in Inspector. When you're done, let's click on the bottom here. Take a screenshot of the image. Next, let's create a new project. Select a 1080p in video resolution. Click on New Project. Import a screenshot we just took. And drag and drop it into your video track. Use Ripple Edit to make it last about 10 seconds. Then click on Motion to enter the Motion Editor. Add keyframes based on your own layout and preference. And adjust the size and angles of the boxes. Let the camera shot stay on each image for a short time before moving to the next frame. But be careful not to let the box rotate beyond the picture. Otherwise, you will get a black screen. Finally, we are just the speed to make the movement of the picture more lateral. Well, now there you have it, a live slideshow video.
Well, this is all for today's video. And if you want to know about other adding tricks or what has been going on with video pop vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.